Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. Um, today I'm going to talk about one of the changes that MLflow has introduced in one of the latest releases. I'm talking specifically about model stages. Well, as you know, before we were using uh, different stages to represent the machine learning lifecycle, uh, like for example, known staging, production, and archive. Well, MLflow no longer recommends that approach. Um, Instead, they are recommending to use model version tags and model version aliases to represent this life cycle, and which brings more flexibility. Now, as you can see here in the documentation, um, they are saying that model stages have been deprecated and will be removed in a future major release. So for that reason, it's a good idea to start getting familiar with these model version tags and version aliases. And in this video, we are going to, I'm going to show you how to set tags using uh, the MLflow uh, Python SDK. So I'm going to start by sharing my de development environment here. And the first thing that I'm going to do is to create um, a new folder called MLflow tags and aliases. Right, something like this, right? And now, I'm going to create a virtual environment so I can install a new uh, Python version. And once the once the virtual environment is uh, is created, we have the the folder here. I'm going to create a new file called getting started. Dot pi. But first, um, I'm going to activate that environment, and I'm going to install one of the latest versions of MLflow. Now, this may take a, a couple of minutes, so I'm going to, well, I'm going to start, you know, editing this uh, script. I'm going to import MLflow. Now, I'm going to create a let's say create a custom model so i can do something like my model yes and i had to use that's perfect and now i'm going to create this script now i'm going to create a run with mlflow dot start run as run I have this um, MLflow Python lock model uh, model Python model the instance but now since I also want to create a new version I mean I want to register this model and create a new version I'm going to provide um, this parameter registered model name and this should create a new model in the model registry so I'm just going to wait for the installation of the XML flow. I'm going to post the video. Okay, now that we have installed um, MLflow in our environment, I can just run that script. Python getting started. And in a different uh, command prompt, I'm going to go to that folder. I'm going to activate that environment and I'm going to run the MLflow UI. So according to this, uh, it was successful. I registered a model called my model and created at the same time the version, the first version of that model. So here, let me go to the UI. Okay. Here we have the, the run. Um, if I go to models, I have um, my model, right? The version one. I'm going to click here. And here we can choose between the uh, new version of the UI that you can see here. We have tags and aliases and the previous version. The previous version is something, was something like this, right? In which we have stages, known, staging, production, or archive. So now here we can create tags, you know, from the UI, but in today's video, we're going to, I'm going to show you only with the SDK. I mean, there is no science on just creating these um, tags from the UI. 
So I'm going to go back to my uh, development environment here. I'm going to comment out this line. And the first thing is to get a client. MLflow dot um, MLflow client, right? And let's use a set. Oh, sorry. Client dot set model version tag. And here we have to provide the name of the registered model, the version in this case version one and the key and the value so i'm going to run this uh, code and um, this is the ui this is the version one here we have you know um, a new tag right now i can have multiple tags for the same version so for example i can create that key 2 and that value 2 for example and i'm going to run this here okay we have that key and that key too now i'm going to let's say that we're going to update the value of these um tags well in that case i can just use the same um method right set model version tag um basically for example use something like this new tag value too so let me run this script and let me update this new tag value too. Now um, I'm going to um, let's say do a particular example. How can we use tag to represent the machine learning life cycle? Well first uh, I'm going to create a new uh, version. So let's say that I do something like this, right? This code will create a new version, right? Uh, well, not yet. Well, now we have version 2, right? So what I can do is something like this. So now i um, going to first delete um, these tags, right? I'm going to delete model version tag, right? And I'm going to delete tag key 2 and also tag key, right? I'm going to comment this line and run this code again. So now if I go to the UI, I should see, uh, okay, the two versions without tags. Now here, um, I'm going to say that the version one, let's say is, um, we have model status, something like this, right? And the value, it's something like, let's say, since this is the version one, let's say validation, right? And let's say the, the here for the version two, the same tag, model status, right? Um, and we can establish, a, let's say, a new value. And we, we can say something like ready for production, right? So let's run this code and see um, how this looks like. Okay, here we are. Not yet. Uh, not yet. Maybe there was an error here. Um, okay. Oh, sorry. I am deleting the version. I don't want. I want to set. I set. A model version tag. Right. Let's run this code again. Okay, now we have, yes, two tags, right? So this is like a kind of practical example of how we can use those tags in the machine learning lifecycle. So that's everything for this video. Um, I show you how to create a tag, how to update a tag, and how to delete a tag. Uh, in the next video, we're going to work with aliases. So thanks for watching this video, and see you in the next one.